Well, hello everyone. This is Father Mark McGarry, Associate Pastor from St. Francis of Assisi Parish in West Des Moines, Iowa. I've been given the opportunity to share some of my thoughts with you on the great sacrament of reconciliation. That means so much to all of us, in particular a lot to me, and I'll share a story with you in a bit. For some reason, it's the sacrament of reconciliation is a place of hesitation for so many people. And I tell you that hurts my heart. Because I'm a man who spent 20 years away from the great sacrament of reconciliation. And going back into that sacrament with the love of God in my heart is what led me on a path of truth, of understanding that changed my life forever. So I truly understand this great gift personally. So as a servant of God now, I'm given this opportunity to just be the conduit between you and, and God. So my story. I was ordained 14 months ago, and after my massive Thanksgiving, I was given a great um, gift of a, a painting from a very, very dear friend of mine. And it's the a painting of the Pieta, where our Blessed Mother is holding her son, her lifeless son, in her arms. And you see this look on her face. I can imagine what was going through her heart. What are we doing? What happened? Where do we go from here? Yet she, she is that great gift to us in the church. She never wavers. She continues to keep her eyes on her son, even when he's lifeless. As I sat in, in the darkness of this house the next morning, looking at that painting, asking the Lord in my prayer, what is my priesthood? And it became, it became very clear. She said, <laughs> excuse me. She said, hand him, hand him my son. So as a priest, that's all I do. Together, we hold Jesus in our arms. And we lift our shortcomings, our failures, to the light of Christ. And he heals everything. Because that's what he wants. One of the great things that I, I, I always use, the image I use with the, with the school children, is that Christ on the cross has basically, he's hugging us. I said, if your, if your parents come up to you and reach out their arms to hug you, would you just leave your arms by your side or would you reach back and hug them? And they always get a big smile on their face and they say, I'd hug him. Well, Jesus has just given us the greatest hug the world will ever know by his sacrifice, by his gift of the cross. He takes on our sins and gives us healing. So now the responsibility of, of us is how do we go through life hugging him back? How do we show him the great love in return for the love that he's given to us? Because that's a life-changing love. And that's what the great sacrament of reconciliation is. The most important part of reconciliation, all that happens in the, in the great sacrament of reconciliation, the most important part is our contrite heart. That we, that we bring our pains to the healing of Christ to his light. So the rest of our life is spent trying to ask the Lord, Lord, help me to know how to hug you back in that great gift of the sacrament. So I just ask you for your consideration, whatever might be keeping you to hesitate to go into this great gift, to know that it's not a place of confession. It's a place of reconciliation. It's a sacrament of reconciliation. It's a sacrament of healing where we come to understand God's love. Because when we understand God's love, it's life-changing. We talk, we throw the word of love around you know, too easily. But when you see him on the cross, that sacrificial love that he's given to us, that what he desires for us is to walk out of the sacrament healed 
so that we can now be the conduit of, love, of his love to the world. Or his light now firmly inside of us for the, for the world to see. The sacrament of reconciliation. What a gift it is. So I ask you, if you're not currently using the great sacrament, consider it. Consider it coming home. There's nothing more beautiful to me than to hear somebody come in and say, Father, it's been 20 years, 30 years, 40 years since the great sacrament of reconciliation. And I always say, welcome home. <laughs>